Good evening. Uh, my name is Michael Gillespie. I'm one of the assistant principals, and uh, tonight I'll be sharing with you some general Herndon High School information. Uh, this is normally presented during fourth period on back to school night, but this year we're going to um, post this video so that you have access to it um, if you need to look back at it or pause it. Um, so uh, this is information specifically for seniors. Um, there are a few extra pieces of information that we're not uh, talking about with underclassmen. All right, so I'm going to start off with a topic that is relatively familiar to most senior parents, and that's the concept of Stinger. Um, as in past years, we are continuing to have Stinger, um, and it rotates throughout the school year. This is an opportunity for students to see each of their teachers outside of class time to get extra help um, to retake a test or to take a, te a test, work on missing assignments, um, ask, ask for extra help. Um, the one change that we have this year is that uh, we have a slightly longer Stinger 1 rotation. Um, that actually takes the entire period, and as I'll talk about in just a second, that now includes um, information that was previously discussed with students in what we call teacher advisory. Um, if you or a student needs to look at what day uh, a certain uh, Stinger rotation is on, um, you can do so uh, through the Events and Schedules tab on the Herndon High School website. So as I mentioned, uh, teacher advisory is something that you can now, um, that students will now be getting through first period. Um, and um, this is something that's been, they've probably had if they've been here for prior years. Um, it includes a lot of different things. Um, it's a chance to share school-wide information with students, to do character education, um, to talk about social-emotional learning and character education. Uh, sometimes it's used for logistical purposes, like collecting forms or different things. Um, and then also we use it for uh, the teacher to sort of talk to them about their grades, about their goal setting, trying to help them, um, you know, continue to um, succeed uh, throughout the year. So it's a lot of different purposes that we use teacher advisory for, and it occurs about every two weeks or so. Um, after the teacher advisory part, of the 90 minutes, then uh, students will then continue to have their Stinger 1 where they can get help for that academic class. This year attendance continues to be important for all students. Um, we have two ways um, that uh, families can share attendance um, in our absences or upcoming uh, absences. Uh, the first is sort of how we've traditionally done it with uh, through the f uh, phone number, um, which you can see here, so parents could call that and uh, leave messages about uh, absences. Additionally, we now this year have a online option as well from the Herndon website, um, and so you can also submit attendance that way. Um, we do um, also there, are, you know, we do have a different situation on Monday. Um, students um, and parents do not need to do anything um, for Monday. There isn't a class meeting or. Um, anything that a student needs to complete uh, to, to prove that they were uh, present in school that day. Instead, they just need to be focused on working on their independent work that their teachers have been giving them um, on the other days. So there isn't anything extra that needs to happen for attendance on Monday. All right, obviously we have a lot of technology in the school this year and we're using it a lot for our instruction. And so um, there are added um, opportunities for parents, uh, students, and families who need um, tech support. And so uh, we have three options that we wanted to highlight here. Um, the first is that uh, parents can call uh, FCPS Help Desk, which is open um, pretty much uh, all day from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m., including the weekends. Um, and they can help you try to problem solve some of those things. Um, Additionally, um, parents can also submit a help request ticket through um, the link that's, that's shown here. Um, and for the foreseeable future, we also have uh, walk-in hours at Herndon High School um, for one-on-one -on -one support. Um, and you can see the hours for that um, now. Um, pay attention to emails and to the website just in case those hours do change as we get further into the school year. Um, but we do, you know, we are trying to respond to technology issues as quickly as possible. Um, so um, this is just a quick uh, reminder of um, who, uh, which administrators work with different students or work with uh, different content areas if you have a question about something. So you can see here, uh, based on your student's last name, who their administrator is, um, and then additionally um, what uh, subject areas they work with. If you have a question about a math class or an English class, you can work directly with that administrator as well. 
Um, we've also noted in the left column that we have two senior class sponsors this year, uh, Ms. Cosgrove and Ms. O. Um, and they work with the entire senior class on different things, including graduation and other senior events that happen throughout the year. Um, so if you have a question that sort of has to do with the senior class as a whole, um, then you can reach out to one of or both of them. Um, we do have a couple of upcoming events that uh, we just wanted to highlight um, in uh, mid to late October, we will be having um, a, sort of a different homecoming this year. Usually we have a dance and a football game and a parade. Um, this year we are having a virtual spirit week and there will be more information about that coming from the school and then the school social media accounts. Um, additionally, um, the school is offering um, the PSAT for a smaller number of students this year. Um, that doesn't affect uh, the seniors in terms of taking it, but uh, there will be no classes that day um, and students will work independently um, based on the assignments that their teacher provided. So we wanted to let you know that about that. All right, so um, we have a really active uh, college and career center, and we have a great um, college and career center specialist, uh, Ms. Pierce. Um, she has provided a lot of information on this slide about a bunch of different topics. Um, you're welcome to pause um, if you want to read through this. Um, but she, does, she has a ton of different programs, um, probably works the most commonly with uh, students on things like scholarships, um, and so that's where a lot of students interact with her. But you can see that she has a lot of other things happening here, um, doing, having to do with college visits and things like that. Um, and so uh, she uh, is a great resource. Um, there is, if you see at the top, there is a College and Career Center Google Classroom, which um, students can join where they can get a lot of this information. Um, so if you have any questions about that or any of these topics, um, feel free to email Ms. Pierce at the address that is shown on the slide. The Herndon Internship Program is something that you may or may not be familiar with from, pre from previous years. Um, traditionally, what this means is that at the end of the year, um, seniors um, who meet certain criteria, that criteria is listed on the screen, um, are able to do an internship at the end of the fourth quarter. And that internship um, often exempts students from most of their final exams, um, usually except for dual enrollment exams. Um, so a lot of information will be coming through uh, government classes over the course of the year, um, but that's something to keep an eye out for if you think your student might be interested in doing that. Um, we still obviously are waiting to see what the end of the year looks like in terms of that, um, but um, we're, we're proceeding ahead um, with that plan um, for now, as is. All right, um, here we have some information about the yearbook. If you're interested in ordering a yearbook, um, you can do so online um, with this link, and then you put in the school code 8967. If you have any questions about that, you can email Ms. Hens um, and ask her questions about the yearbook, and she's happy to answer those. All right, wanted to just put, give a little bit of information about senior dues. Um, right now, obviously, uh, we're, you know, there's, a, there's still a lot to be determined about what the end of the year looks like. Um, and so uh, generally uh, senior dues are $100 and they cover um, all the stuff that's listed here, t-shirts, caps and gowns, diplomas, diploma cover, um, and then also the rental of um, Eagle Bank Arena. Since we're unclear at this point sort of what the end of the year looks like, um, senior dues are going to be uh, $50 um, and are due, for, due at the end of November. Um, and that will cover the things that are listed in this first bullet point. And um, if um, it's possible that there might be an additional installment due later in the year, depending on sort of the status of graduation. Um, so we'll definitely provide more information as that becomes available. Um, you can pay uh, senior dues online um, through my school, my school box. Um, that's probably the easiest, point, easiest way to do it at this point. Um, if you have any questions um, or if you need financial assistance, you can email Ms. Cosgrove and Ms. O, who again are the 12th grade administrators. All right, so here is a list of different people within the building that you can ask specific senior-specific questions. Some of these are names that have appeared on other slides, um, but we do encourage you to reach out to any of these people if you have any questions. Um, you can also always call the main office of the school if you're uncertain who to reach out to. Um, each of their email addresses are available on the directory on the school website. All right, so we hope that your back to school night uh, is going well, goes well, or went well, uh, depending on when you're watching this. Um, and uh, that we can you have a great start to the school year. Uh, thank you very much and have a great day.